find cos 600. To find this, we should follow this method C. Here we have 600. Now you should check. 600 lies between which two multiples of 180? What I mean is, 600 lies between 540 and 720. This is 180 into 3 and this is 180 into 4. Between these two numbers, 600 lies. Next, 600 is close to which number? This is close to 540. So 600 now should be written as 540 plus 60. So this will become cos. In place of this, now we write this. 540 plus 60. This is your step 1. Next. Cos. In place of 540, now we should write 3 into 180 plus 60. Next, here we have 180. So cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside we get this angle 60. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180, that is 3. And 3 is odd and all the odd multiples of 180, they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant. So now to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have plus. That means angle lies in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant cos is negative. So we should put negative. So negative cos 60 is 1 by 2. This is our answer.